All right, hey y'all. I haven't done a free general read in forever. So I'm gonna do a quick one. I'm gonna do video though, cause I don't feel like typing all that shit up. All right, so this is gonna be Aries. This is gonna be Sun, Rune, Sun Moon Rising or Venus. All right, let's see what pops up. Some of us are going through an actual, almost like a spiritual awakening. Um, we're learning to be a little bit more mature with our emotions and standing our ground. Um, especially with air signs, a lot of times, like, because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a rising Aries, a lot of times we'll pop off um, with our mouths. But I think this is a season where you're learning, like, I, I am not my emotions. Literally, I am not my emotions. Um, Um, for some of you, there's there's a period of waiting. We've been waiting for something. Um, the hair. We've been waiting patiently for healing. Let's not even wait for somebody to kind of like open up their eyes to something. Um, yeah. We're waiting for somebody. Some of you are waiting for someone to open up their eyes to something, um, to learn a lesson with the hair fan who is a teacher. Um there's grief here some it looks like somebody oh, just don't have the drive i'm getting the king of wands but he's kind of like mm. so somebody in this situation was just not they just didn't have the the passion like i'm just feeling like somebody just didn't put their best foot forth so so it's a, so one energy in this situation which is like fuck it i'm walking away um but now there's like an energy of definitely of someone in the situation wanting someone to learn a lesson and then they can come back to healing um if they are that king of cups energy um but with the nine of wands if they don't come back on that king of cups energy where they um where they are actually putting forth effort and drive and passion then fuck it you're not getting anywhere um some of you are dealing with someone with a taurus in their chart or um Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, the devil, definitely that Scorpio energy. There's definitely energies of like the, whoever the King Cups energy is, they're definitely feeling like they're left out in the cold. Someone, um, someone in the situation was emotionally mature, um, but almost to the point where it was like almost cold. Like you're almost like, you just don't give anything to that person. Um, Yeah, but they want to change that now and uh yeah they, they kind of feel, whoever the situation is whoever the situation is where they feel bad about it they do and they even have like offers they see they see other offers they might be going out um literally and, and seeing and dating other people this is a romance situation and it's just it doesn't compare to you they want to come home like literally you're home i'm seeing the house um Some of you there is a lesson in the situation um we're learning lessons of being patient uh, we're learning lessons of healing uh, taking our emotions and going and not being so pressed on pressed on my feelings or hurt or this is what i want so i'm going to push and make things happen um there's definitely some images of someone learning how to release and just kind of let let time let time pass and what happens will happen i think some of us have these images of nine of wands reverse the energies of wanting to push things and there's definitely energies of here of someone wanting that you cannot push everything is in divine timing mm -mm. yeah there was a battle of will here a battle of passions there might have been two people um who wanted two different things and they would just they just couldn't come together or somebody in themselves that were battling within themselves um with the nine of wands reverse there might have been somebody who was seen you if they weren't if they not of wands to me is just nasty like you just somebody was out here 
I mean, if they weren't, if somebody was really out here and they're not out here anymore and there was a misconception that they were out here. But anyway, um, with the King of Swords reversed, clarify. Yeah, somebody has the habit of running off with the devil when things get hot, when things get hot and heavy, they, they run the fuck off and they are working on it. Um, someone's going to come in and they're going to speak about their fears and anxieties about how they run the fuck off um, and they don't want to be defensive anymore. Yeah, if somebody wants to talk because they can't move on. They can't move on for something. Um, energies are interchangeable. Oh, that's only six minutes. All right, let me give y'all one more. Get one more reading for Aries. One more reading for Aries. Take it resonates with me with this one. This is a collective read. So if you want to read that's tailored to you, um, you can schedule a private reading. Link in my bio, but this is general, so it's not gonna present to everyone. All right, one more message for Aries. One more message for Aries. One more message for Aries. I'm sorry, I slammed the cards. I'm just loud. Um, for some of you stuck in a job, um, looks like your <laughs> your boss uh, could be a fire sign. Fire and water sign is what I'm getting here. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Pisces, um, Cancer, Scorpio, or somewhere in the chart. Uh, you, you do not like this job no more. It looks like you did at one point the two of cups. It didn't make you happy. Um, there's there might be a job where you could like you could be able to pour a lot of emotion into it, but you just can't. Um, and it's fucking with your head. It's definitely fucking with your head. There might be, um, honestly, it might be some workplace battles, like where y'all are like bumping heads with somebody. Um, there's definitely some snakes and some of you are actually getting suspicious. Like somebody is like actually trying to get you fired or some type of shit. And you're just tired of being, you're just tired of going to work and having to be defensive. Um, and we want to look for, we want to look for different work. There is different work out there. Um, with the waters. If any of you get a job offer from a Gemini, take it. It's going to be your wish fulfillment. But for some of you, um, you just need to realize that this job is not for you. And once you realize that this job is not for you and you walk away from it, um, there will be your wish fulfillment. Yeah, it's like we're trying to stay and we're trying to balance. We're trying to, and, and Spirit's telling us to leave. If you want to level up and you want to do the next thing, you want to be the next thing in life, um, the next thing in life. If, if you want to do better in life, you need to leave. A lot of you are kind of stuck because you're like, I don't know if I can. Uh, some of you are literally hanging by a thread, like hanging by a thread, paying your bills. And you're like, I don't know if I can continue on paying my bills if I leave. But if you leave, you will become from the Prince of Disc, um, literally to the King of Discs. So you're going to level the fuck up with the Empress with empress so um fucking leave 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 the job that's all i got for y'all leave that job and i don't know what else i said i already watch it <laughs> y'all have a good one <laughs>